We read one day, we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But if a man doesn't have a job or an income, he has neither life nor liberty and the possibility for the pursuit of happiness. He merely exists. <laughs> others can do what they want to do. That's their business. Other civil rights leaders, for various reasons, refuse or can't take a stand or have to go along with the administration. That's their business. But I must say that. that I know that justice is indivisible. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. All labor has dignity. Yes. But you are doing another thing. You are reminding not only Memphis, but you are reminding the nation that it is a crime for people to live in this rich nation and receive starvation wages. All we say to America is be true to what you said on paper. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly, somewhere I read of the freedom of speech, yes. somewhere I read, yes. of the freedom of press, yes. somewhere I read, yes. that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. He died and the cause of that effort. In this difficult day, in this difficult time for the United States, it's perhaps well to ask what kind of a nation we are and what direction we want to move in.